Private investigator Lenny Badger watched the fast fading sun slip through heavy haze moments before its orange glow was tucked into the gray horizon's waiting embrace. T.S. Eliot had said, April was the cruelest month. And for Lenny, that had proved true. One moment life was hijinks, wild sex, exuberance, and next it was a closet full of naked plastic hangers. Thoughts of his wife's final hours at home surfaced once again. How could she? Ron had a pudgy face, thinning hair, and pimples on his butt. But then, who really knows what attracts a woman? He heard the guy had inherited bucks and came from old New England money, dabbled in futures, and spent his days in front of the computer playing the market. Now, a year following Christine's indiscretion, only the absurdity of it all remained. Orion, his four-legged doctor Watson, had acquired a real sense of Lenny's melancholy and damn if he was going to eat his regular everyday dry lamb and rice kibbles. What's with you, guy? Dogs sometimes look like their owners, but they're sure enough not supposed to eat the same food. Lenny was about to slide the casserole of stuffed portobello mushrooms out of the oven when his doorbell rang. Orion started to dance in circles, barking with newfound excitement at Steve, standing under the doorframe, sucking on an unlit cigarette. Found another Vic, not far from here either. Exact same M.O. as before you left the forest. Hell, man, we need your input, but gotta go right now, too. Though darkness had fallen, the bike path winding along the beach between Venice and Santa Monica was crowded with heavy breathing joggers. The grisly remains of the young woman's head rested on a rock, her flesh turned waxy. Honey blonde hair fanned out around her like an aureole in death. Empty eye sockets stared back at Lenny, her mouth a rectus of fear. Lenny's mind wandered inexorably to Claudia, a wonderful newcomer in his life, but she had disappeared as suddenly as she had arrived. Visions of her body, now washed up by the murky surf, were tormenting him, and he admitted to Steve, Hey, listen, man, a girl I met spent the last few days with me and disappeared early this morning. I'm worried that she could have become the serial killer's latest victim. Gusty winds scattered dry leaves across the overgrown yard. A man leaned against the familiar old oak in front of the weathered house and remembered enshrouding himself in the branches as a young boy until hunger had overcome his fear of being locked in that moldy cellar again, or receiving yet one more blistering beating. His heart thumped triple time with excitement as he slipped on the plastic gloves. His mission was to cleanse the world of bitches, and through the years he'd been a one-man cleaning crew. How very long he had waited for this moment. Tonight, he would be the one watching as her old eyes filled with fear. <laughs>